Hey athletes, today we have kickboxing Tabata style. And we're gonna have three circuits we're gonna go through. But first, before we get to those, let's go ahead and do our stretches, kind of get warmed up a little bit, and we'll get right into it. All right, let me get our timer started and we're gonna get going. All right, athletes, I want you to do something that's called World Greatest Stretch. So I want us to kind of lunge forward. We're gonna lean down into our stretch. We're gonna put our arms up and just kind of enjoy that nice little stretch. If you want to lean into the stretch a little more, you can push forward on the ball of your foot from your back leg, and that'll kind of help you stretch your legs out just a little bit more. We're gonna to switch to the other leg, so we're gonna to go to downward facing dog, and switch. And again, we're gonna put that arm up and it's gonna feel so good. And we are going to, if you want, push forward on the ball of your foot and just kind of lean into that stretch a little bit more. Very nice, guys. All right, so we are gonna go back up and we're gonna go into some side stretches, okay? So, like that, stretching our legs. We have about three seconds here. We're gonna switch to the other side. There we go. Very nice. All right. A few seconds here, and then we're going to stretch our hamstrings and kind of lean down to the middle. Okay, so all the way up, lean down. Again, stretching those hamstrings. We have lots of kicks coming up, so we want to be sure our legs are nice and stretched out. All right, guys. Very good. And so we're going to go ahead and just kind of pull our legs back, stretching our quads a little bit. Very nice. Go ahead and switch to that other side. The balance. Very nice. All right, we're going to do some good morning. Okay, so we're going to stretch down, go up, down, and up. Very nice. Okay, guys, after this, we are going to do some arm circles. We're going to go ahead and circle forward. Very nice. Go ahead and switch back. Nice big circles. Very good. Getting ready for some punches. Go ahead and cross your arms over. Very nice. All right, we're going to do some inchworms. So I want you to walk yourself out to a plank position. Walk back up. Clap our hands at the top because that makes me happy. All right, walk back out. Walk in. Clap up. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to do some toy soldiers. Okay, so we are going to be here. You cannot get your leg up twice as high. That is not a problem, right? Just honor where you are in your fitness journey or with your flexibility. Do not hurt yourself. The point of this is to loosen your legs up. Okay, again, getting ready for our kicks. We're going to do some leg circles. Okay, so you can be here. So it's just bringing your knee up and circling, or you can be here, okay? Whichever you are comfortable with. All right, guys, we're gonna go into some high knee, okay? And I don't, I don't want this. That's not high knees, that's jogging in place. I want this, bring your knees up to your belly button, okay? Good job, athletes. Few more seconds here, and we're gonna do some butt kickers. Okay, butt kickers, good job. You can kind of place your hands back there to have something to aim at. All right, guys, and we're done. All right, so we're warmed up. I want you guys kind of walking around, having kind of a little bit of an active recovery, stay warmed up while I'll explain our first circuit, okay? 
So for our first circuit, we will have four exercises. And again, you guys are walking around. We're gonna have four exercises. We're gonna be working for 30 seconds. We're gonna rest for 10, okay? between each exercise. So first one is gonna be low kick, high kick, and we're gonna alternate sides, okay? Low kick, high kick, alternate sides. I do not care how high you're going. I just want two kicks on each side, right? One low, one high. Very good. All right, we're gonna do next a bob and weave with toe tap, okay? So we're gonna have our arms up. We're gonna bob and weave, punch, Bob and weave, punch, and notice I'm also tapping my toe, okay? Why am I doing that? And the reason for that is, is because it works our glutes. If you guys take any of my classes, you're going to quickly learn I am mildly obsessed with glutes and abs, but right now we're talking about glutes, okay? So, I want you to tap your toe when we're doing this, okay? Very good, all right, and then, you guys are gonna not like me very much for this. That's okay. We're gonna do backwards lunge with a knee raise, okay? Now, when you're coming up, I want you to touch your knee to your elbow, okay? And that's gonna help with our nice little hourglass figure, okay? So down, up, down, up. If you want to amp up the intensity, you can kick instead of doing just a knee raise, okay? And then we're gonna, of course, do the other side. Okay, and I probably will be doing the kick, okay? So keep in mind for you guys, if you wanna bring the intensity down a little bit, you can just simply do the knee raise there, okay? Also for this one, a regression, if you cannot go as far down on the lunge, that's not a problem. You can just kinda not go as far down or you can just take the leg back, okay? Whatever you gotta do. What I want is I want you working and I want you to give me 110, 111%, right? Just give me your best. Give yourself your best. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Let me get our timer set up. All right, guys, here we go. Remember, we're working 30 seconds, resting for 10, and there are four exercises in this circuit. We're gonna run through the circuit three times, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start working in 10, okay? Low kick, high kick, alternating sides in three, Two, one. Here we go, guys. Okay. You want higher intensity? Go faster. If you need to bring the intensity down, go slower. Okay? This is your workout. You make it what you need. I just want you to challenge yourself. Okay? You're going to notice that I am going to be keeping my arms up. So you can do that as well. That kind of helps us have proper form and relax or rest okay so next we have our bob and weave remember our very important two tap okay so here we go good job athletes don't forget to go down on that little squat and we are bobbing and weaving do not lock your elbows when you're punching that could lead to injury which we're not going to do Good job, guys. Keep going. We've got about five seconds left here. Good job, rest. Walk around, get some water. we got about five seconds. We're doing our back lunge with kick. There we go. This is a very efficient exercise. You're gonna notice that we are working glutes, we are working abs, we're working quads, and we have about two seconds left. Whew, good job, guys. Deep breath, that one's a hard one. And we've got the other side. Here, right now. <laughs> Good job, guys. Keep going, athletes. You got this. Oh, 
about halfway through with this one. 10 seconds left, guys. Two, one, nice. Okay, guys. We are done with that first run through. We're gonna start back with our low kick, high kick right now. Good job, guys. Got about six seconds. Good job. Rest. Water. Get your breath. And we've got bob and weave. Right now. With our toe tap. Good job, guys. Now, I mentioned to you that I typically keep my arms up. And the reason for that is when I took karate, my instructor would always tell us to keep your arms at rest because if you're fighting, being attacked, you keep good form, keep your arms up, you can protect your face and block, okay? Backwards lunch time, guys. You guys are doing an awesome job. Keep going. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> we are in this together, athletes. <sighs> Five seconds. <sighs> yes. Good job, guys. One more on the other side, but first, we get a rest. <sighs> Here we go. Good job, guys. When you are kicking, or if you're kicking, you might just be doing a knee raise. I do want you to kind of snap the leg, but do not lock your knee. Three seconds here. Two, and... Okay. That is all for that. We're going to start back at the top for our last run through. Low kick. Again, you need more intensity, go faster. Less intensity, go slower. Okay, guys, four seconds. Nice. I'm going to grab some water. You should too. Okay, guys, bob and weave. Are you tapping your toe? And squeezing your glutes. Ten seconds, guys. Three, two, nice. All right, guys. We're starting into our lunges. I'm sure, it's everybody's favorite. Two, one, right now. Good job, guys. The last time on this side. That should make everyone happy. Definitely makes me happy. Five seconds, guys. You got this. Nice. Very nice. I don't know about you guys. My quad is on fire. 
All right, other side. Good job, guys. Keep going. Five seconds here. You got this. Keep going. One. Done with that circuit. All right, guys. Catch your breath. Grab some water. All right, guys. Time for circuit number two. This one is also going to be four exercises, working for 30, rest for 10. Let me explain the circuit here to you guys. So first exercise is going to be a jack and jab. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, we're going to alternate sides. Very good. So if the jumping jack is not your thing, no problem. You can do this, alternating sides. Okay, we've got something for a little bit of everybody, almost basically. So that's the first one, jack and jab. The next one, you guys are not gonna like me for this right now, but you'll love me for it later. We are gonna have two punches, two uppercuts, and here we go, a burpee, okay? Go down. When you come back up, I want your heels planted into the floor, okay? And then of course we're gonna jump. So let me show you again. Punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut burpee okay all right and then we're gonna have keeping our arms up of course make my old karate instructor very proud front kick back kick front kick back kick okay and then we're gonna switch sides after we're done with that exercise do front kick back kick on the other leg now just like with all the kicks I do not care how high you go that's gonna depend on your flexibility, okay? What I care about is that you're moving and that you're kicking. And again, you're giving me that 110 or 111%, okay? So, with all of that said, we are gonna get right into this in about five seconds. Okay, ready athletes? We're gonna start with our jack and jab right now. Good job, guys. going very good we're already halfway done with this first exercise nice. okay three seconds and then we rest good job all right here we go in about five with our punches and uppercuts okay ready punch punch uppercut Uppercut, burpee. Uppercut, uppercut, burpee. Remember, you land on your heels when you're coming up on that burpee. Why? Because it helps you work your glutes. Very good, guys. We have about five. Do you see how fast that was? Amazing. And we're done. With that, we're gonna rest. Walk around, get air, get water. All right, guys, we're gonna go into front kick, back kick right now. Good job, guys. You guys are doing an awesome job. Remember, if you need more intensity, go faster. If you need to bring it down a little bit, go slower. It's all up to you. This is your workout. You have about five seconds left here. Rest. And then we're going to go to the other leg. Good job, athlete. Ready? Here we go. Good job, guys. Keep going.
10 seconds left here. <sighs> Keeping your arms up. All right, guys, 30 seconds left here. Good job. We're gonna start from the top. In just a few seconds, grab some water. We're gonna do our fun jack and jab. I love jack and jab. I don't know about you guys. I think it's fun. I love it. <clears throat> and we have about five seconds here. Rest, water, walk, catch your breath. And then we have our punches and uppercuts and all the love and breathing. Good job. Landing on our heels. Good job, guys. And we have about 10 seconds left. This one just goes so fast. I love it. Nice. All right. Catch your breath. And we have our kick. Three, two, here we go. Good job, guys. Keep going. Arms up. Again, so we're blocking any punches coming towards us. Five seconds here. Guys, last one. And here we go. Good job, guys. Keep going. Eight seconds left. Arms up. Two, one, nice. <sighs> All right, guys, we're gonna have our last time through. <sighs> Jack and Jab. What's up, guys? Keep going. Enjoy the music. I don't know. I don't know about you, but. Music for me is so important when I'm working out. That's why I try to pick the songs for you guys to kind of keep you energized. Nice, rest, and then we've got our punches. This is our last time through this circuit. Ready, two, one. Uppercut, burpee, We're landing on our heels. Good job, guys. I love it. <sighs> Almost done. Three, two. Nice. Rest. And then we have our kicks. Get some water. Ready? And we're off. Good job, guys. <sighs> Ten seconds, guys. <sighs> Three. And we're done. One more set. The last one in the circuit. <sighs> Ready? Three, 
two. Good job, guys. Little bit more. You guys got this. Keep pushing. Five seconds, guys. Five seconds. Let's go. Yes. Good job. All right, guys. One more circuit. And we're done. All right, guys. If you're anything like me, you have kind of worked up a sweat, but we have one more circuit left. Okay. So let me explain what the three exercises in that circuit are going to be. And then we're going to jump right into it. Okay. So we are going to do traveling punches, right? So we're going to do three punches, then we're going to do a cross punch. Okay. When we do that, we're going to tap our toe, right? Like we always do. And I bet at this point, you could probably tell me why, right? We're going to tap our toe and squeeze our glutes. Okay. To work that muscle. And then we're going to go to the other side. We're gonna do our three punches and then cross punch, okay? So in real time, it's gonna look something like this. Boom, boom, okay? All right, and then we're gonna do cross knee side kick. So two cross knees, side kick, and then down. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. And then we're gonna do the other side, okay? So only three exercises in this circuit. Working for 30, rest for 10, and we're gonna run through it three times, okay? All right, let me start our timer and we will get into it. Okay guys, we're going in 10. Okay, get ready, five, starting with our traveling punches, okay? One. Ten seconds left, guys. Five. Last one here. Good job, athlete. All right, cross knee side kick. Okay, knee, knee, kick. Again, like always, you can't go try on the kick. That is not a problem. Give me that 111 percent. About seven seconds left, guys. Ten seconds rest. Take a little lap, get some water. Go to the side. Seconds left here, guys. You need to amp up the intensity. Go faster. Two seconds. All right, guys. Rest. All right. We're going to do our traveling punches. In two, one. Here. Good job, athlete. Three, two, one. We got our knee, knee, side kick. Right now. Okay. 
and I'm sure you can feel it. But we are working abs in this one, which feels awesome. We got a little stretch. Then we're reaching up for our knee. Three seconds here. Break and then it'll pass. Alright, athlete. Two, one. Seven seconds here. Okay. Alright guys, we are on our last time through. We are almost done with this. Ready for that traveling punch? Guys, five seconds. All right, break. Knee, knee, side kick. Good job, athletes. Keep going. Five seconds here. Yeah. All right, guys. One more. One more exercise, and we are done. Good job, athletes. Keep going. Okay, guys, about five seconds here. Nice. We made it. All right, guys. I want you walking around in a circle for just a bit, and we're going to do some stretches and cool down. But I want us to walk around a little bit to bring our heart rate down, okay? So let's kind of do some arm crosses here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very nice. Okay. Let's go here. Stretch. Good job, guys. Walk around just a little bit more. And we're going to get into our stretches again. Let me get my time set. All right, guys. Let's start our cool down. We're going to do, again, world's greatest stretch. So I want you to just kind of lunge forward. Reach your arm down. And then up. And then just enjoy that stretch. You can push the ball of your foot forward on the back foot. Kind of lean into that stretch a little bit more. Okay. Then we're going to go to downward dog. And we're going to switch to that other side. So we get a nice, even stretch. Oh, man, that feels so good. All right, just enjoy that stretch. And again, you can push forward. With your back foot. All right, so we're gonna go back. 
up to downward dog. Other leg forward. We're gonna sit back on our back leg and lean in and stretch our hamstring. And we're here for just a few more seconds. You guys stay there. I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see me better. All right, other side. So we are gonna put our left leg forward, get back on our right foot, and stretch out our hamstring. And that should feel really good after all of those kicks. Very nice, guys. All right, we're gonna do some sumo stretches, which basically means we are gonna do a squat, right? And we're going to turn our feet just a little bit outward, not much, so that it's uncomfortable, just slightly. And we will push with our elbow, stretching our legs out a little bit. Okay, and once you kind of get into that stretch, if you want, you can kind of lean a little from side to side. Just kind of getting a little bit more out of that stretch. Very nice. All right, and we're gonna do a side stretch. So go ahead and lean down, try to grab your foot. If you can't do that, no problem. Grab your knee, grab your ankle, whatever your level of flexibility allows for. And just kind of do a nice big stretch. Do not overstretch, but get a nice big stretch. Other side. Very good, guys. Stretching should feel good. It should not hurt. All right, and we are just going to do stretch to the middle so go ahead and stand up lean down grab the back of your knees or your legs or your ankles wherever you can grab and have just a nice stretch and this is our last one all right good job athletes i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did i will see you next time okay guys i have a confession to make so, while I was filming this video, I forgot to turn on my little new handy dandy microphone for the first two circuits, so I had to do those twice. But that's okay, because lesson learned, and <laughs> now that's probably not going to happen again, right? Like, I, now I know to always make sure to check my microphone is on. So, in any event, I just wanted to mention that, so if you guys notice that I'm a little extra sweaty in the first two circuits maybe even compared to that last circuit that's going to be why but that's okay because i love this all right guys have a good one i enjoyed it i hope you guys loved it too bye